Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Facebook verification code not received. Before we start, hurry up and check out these other features under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you fix this issue here? Well, fixing it is fairly easy. So, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to guarantee a few things here. So that includes your network signal. Now, if your network signal is really low or it's poor, as you can see at the top right here, you have that bar here next to your Wi-Fi, that's your network signal. Now, if you don't have a pretty stable or a great connection, then in this case, that might be the cause of this issue. So it is suggested that you move to, uh, somewhere that has some sort of signal. So in this case, you might want to go outside for a bit because sometimes walls or even barricades can uh, block the signal itself. So go ahead and go to another room or outside and see if that solves the issue and you'll be able to receive your verification code. Now, another thing that you could do here is to want to make sure that you have your settings and your updates installed. So in this case, first is going to be updates. So in this case, you want to go ahead and open up Google Play Store and you want to go ahead and look for Facebook and Messenger. Now, in this case, same thing, just search for it. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on the update button if you do see an update button next to Facebook. Now, same thing with Messenger. You want to make sure that you have the latest version because not having the latest version can cause this issue. Now, once your update is complete, you can go ahead and start your phone and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you could also do here is to want to make sure that your permissions are correct. So first is you want to look for Facebook. You want to go ahead and press on Facebook, press and hold, and click on the I icon that appears in here. Now from here, you want to scroll down a bit, click on app permissions. And from here, you want to make sure that you allow call logs to allow. Now let's go and go back. And you want to also look for phone, and you also want to make sure that you allow this one. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to look for the message uh, app here on our phone. So typically, it's going to be the very bottom here, but press and hold on it. And you want to go ahead and click on the app info. And from here, go to app permissions. And from here, you want to make sure that you allow call logs as well as for phone and SMS. Now, if you do see it under not allowed, you want to click on it and make sure that you click on allow in order for you to use that specific permission. Now, once we've done that, what we need to do next here is you can go ahead and try it if that fixes your issue. Now, the fun thing that you could do here to probably solve this issue is to uh, basically switch your phone into airplane mode and switch it, switching it back on again. Now, in this case, you want to go ahead and scroll down or from the top of your uh, mobile phone here, just uh, open up your drawer here for your settings. Now, you want to go ahead and click on the um, airplane mode option here to turn it on. It should turn off your Wi-Fi and just wait for a few seconds here, like maybe 30 seconds for, or to a minute. And once the minute is up, you can go ahead and click on airplane mode again to turn it off. And it should automatically connect your Wi-Fi and it should turn on your network. Now, usually if you do this, it will change a few things as it's going to refresh your network. But in this case, see if that solves the issue. So, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.